Well, this video is basically about Balcony House, and it's not so much to give you the history of the people or to follow the tour guide. If you want to do that, show up to Mesa Verde and take the tour, but it's mainly to let you know, can you do this or not? So um, I'll get into that right after this. Okay, Mesa Verde, <clears throat> it's 6.37 in the morning, it's only like 46 degrees out, and I have a 9 o'clock tour of the balcony house, and basically I heard it takes a good hour, at least an hour to get up there. <laughs> so I am uh, going to go ahead and pull out now. I'd rather get there early and hang out for a while than to be rushing and trying to be and being late because you don't rush up roads you're not familiar with. Anyways, that's about it. So next time uh, you see me, we'll be at the Balcony House meeting area. Here we go. Well, word of the wise, make sure that you get a copy, a screenshot of your ticket. Uh, I managed to finally get one bar of um, one bar of cell that I was able to finally do it after I got up on the top of the hill. Not a great spot to blow that. So, anyways, uh, yeah, it took almost an hour, just shy an hour, and I tried to keep the speed limit all the way to test it out. So, yeah, expect an hour from the visitor center all the way up to the balcony house. And the ranger just showed up. We're going to get started here in just a minute. Oh, look at that. So that's where we're heading. This video is actually designed to determine how difficult this balcony house tour is and if it's something you might want to consider. What you're going to be seeing here is we start out by going down 130 steps down a metal staircase. We climb up a 32 foot tall ladder. We have two small ladders and 12 uneven stone steps within the site. To leave, you've got to crawl through an 18 inch wide by 12 foot long tunnel. You have to ascend a 60 foot open cliff face with uneven stone steps and two 17 foot ladders to exit let's go so this is pretty cool step one go down this ramp there'll be some metal stairs <laughs> and wait till you see what's coming up next an interesting thought we came down 60 feet of ladder or stairs and going up 30 feet of ladder why couldn't we met in the middle just a thought breathing <laughs> yeah
Okay, we're on the exit tunnel side. I came prepared. I think the only one with knee pads, but you know what? I'd rather save the knees. Tight space. We made it through. Okay, now a couple more ladders and cliffside climbing. Nice. So that last climb up was actually the natural entrance to this place. Any other questions? So this was the natural entrance in for them? Yeah, there's actually down kind of over, kind of more towards the ladders, but not exactly. Got it. There are some toeholds and handholds there. <laughs> I'm glad you put a ladder in. So much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have to worry about belaying you all out. Yeah. <laughs> An additional word to the wise, if you're going to do Balcony House, park in the parking right as you enter Balcony House. Don't drive down to the gathering area. Once you finish hiking that entire way, you end at the beginning of the parking lot. So if you park here, that would be much wiser instead of parking down there and then having to walk all the way to your car. It's not that far, it really isn't, but if you gotta walk it, I'd rather walk it at the beginning than at the end. All right, that was exciting, that was fun. Definitely adventurous, still sucking air. And uh, gonna do the hour drive back to get Dawn and see what other tour we're gonna do today. We're gonna be back in a couple days to do Cliff Palace. By the way, there are pit toilets and a water fill station up here. Definitely take plenty of water. You are at a high altitude. And she basically said, the ranger told us that the number one emergency they have is people dehydrating. And if you're having trouble with altitude, that means you need more water on top of it. So bring plenty of water. So final recap on Balcony House. Bring plenty of water. Screenshot your ticket in advance when you have good Wi-Fi. If you do have sensitive knees, bring knee pads. No one is going to judge you. Have a good breakfast before you get here and make sure you got plenty of water. I have my camel back, that worked out great. I don't think one bottle would have done it if I would have brought a little bottle with me. So yeah, make sure you got at least two bottles of water or a camel back and you'll be in good shape. All right, also if you're claustrophobic, afraid of heights or you have trouble with ladders, um, just watch the video over and over again and live vicariously through me. Okay, so now that you've seen it, uh, hopefully you can make an educated decision on whether or not this tour is for you. Yes, it was strenuous. Yes, uh, my legs feel rubbery and it was worth it. It really was. A uh, few things that you probably noticed as I went through this, wearing knee pads really helped. No one's going to judge you. In fact, they're going to envy you for having brought them along. So throw some knee pads in your backpack bring plenty of water and make sure you get those tickets two weeks in advance all right so make sure you hit that subscription button uh hit the notification bell that you know when we post every sunday at two thumbs up for good measure and we will see you on the road Slotcha. <laughs>